today I just wanted to weigh in on the whole Harrison Bucker situation because I haven't said anything about it yet and I have strong feelings about it but basically he gave this commencement speech and he said a bunch of bs and then I'll pull up but gave a speech at a college today and this is the part that a lot of people are up in arms about so he said for the ladies present today congratulations on an amazing accomplishment you should be proud of all that you have achieved to this point in your young lives I want to speak directly to you briefly because I think it is you the women who have had the most diabolical lies told to you how many of you are sitting here now about to cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you are going to get in your career? Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and children you will bring into this world. I can tell you that my beautiful life, Isabel, will be the first to say that her life truly started when she began living her vocation as a wife and a mother and then a bunch of BS. And then this is kind of the rest of what he said in regards to that to my understanding, which is another BS. Here's what Patrick Mahomes had to say in response to it and saying that, oh, he's a good person, blah, 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 and that we're not always going to agree and other things that he doesn't agree with, but, you know, he can basically say what he wants is his rant, blah, blah, blah. And they pressed him and asked him, like, what he doesn't agree with with what he said, and of course, it was cowardry and he didn't really want to say it. And then saying that he's not going to judge him by that, but how he acts every single day? What? What? And Andy Reid saying he didn't think he was speaking ill to women. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. He has his opinions and we all respect that. And then, of course, the NFL commissioner defended him to defend him for what he can say is free speech. But whenever Colin Kaepernick did it, he was villainized. Okay, double standards, racist. Here's what Travis Kelsey said. Again, just saying that he was a good teammate and that he doesn't agree with what he said, basically, besides him loving his family and kids and that he's not going to judge him for that, which is so stupid. I agree with this tweet on it saying that him saying that he shouldn't judge him by his views is so crazy. Like, what else are you going to judge him by? And then this was, you know, Jason basically trying to make a joke about it, which I just didn't think was funny because of the severity of it and just like what the topic is. And I just didn't think this was a time to make a joke. That's just my thing. And then apparently Jason said that he doesn't think he was talking down to a woman or something. That's at least what I read on Twitter. So I'm just saying. I really agreed with what this woman said, saying go F yourself and whatever. Like if you can say what you want, I can say what I want. So I agree with her. Yeah, all these men are a bunch of cowards, honestly. And so to a certain degree, I get Travis and Patrick because you're on the same team with him. So you can only say so much because you have to see this guy all year. But at the same time, it's giving cowardry, especially Patrick, because whenever it came to the election, oh, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to pressure everyone. Like, you know what you stand. And you have this whole platform to say something and you're not going to say something about that. And you're not going to say something about this. You own a whole woman soccer team. And it's just giving cowardry to me, like, regardless, like who's going to stand up and say, you know, what's right. And all these men talking about, I don't think he was speaking down to women. Yes, he is. Because he's going to talk about, oh, you know, it's great. You're getting your degree and you're having your career start up and everything. But basically that don't matter. Go home and work in the kitchen and have kids. And that's all that matters. And you're just reducing women to being mothers and wives and we are so much more than that and so it's just very sexist and misogynistic and all those things and what annoys me the most is all those people saying i don't agree with what he said basically but that it's his right to say it and so it's just really irritating that that's all they're talking about and they're not really digging into what he said why it's wrong why it's offensive to women and all those things like i feel like a lot of people are trying to downplay what he said and not make it as bad as what he said because they don't want to deal with it because it's the nfl because we're on the same team as him but it's like no it's very problematic to women and like how do you think all this insult stuff starts because all these young men are like looking up to losers like this and actually believing what they say and they're espousing it and i don't know why the nfl could do better about it because it's like let's issue a statement and say hey what he said wasn't right it was misogynistic it was sexist and all that stuff because you know people like me i literally got into the nfl because of a taylor swift and all those things and also the audacity for him to literally quote taylor swift in his speech like taylor swift isn't one of the biggest girl bosses of all time like taylor swift isn't one of the big examples of a working woman and someone who's successful that was just gross to me out of all people in that moment why would you call Taylor Swift? Why would you do that? Why would you say that? And so as people mentioned as well, you're a kicker. You're the only position on, you know, the team that isn't supposed to get touched. So a weak man who doesn't get touched on the field, you want to talk to me about masculinity in general is like, spare me, spare me. And so I'm just seeing a lot of cowardry here. I'm just seeing a lot of cowardry here. And it's just very, you know, irritating to me that a lot of people aren't taking a stand and saying what's right and not caring about how people are going to view them and all this stuff. Like what happened to real men? What happened to real men who actually respect women? Because I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. And so to a certain degree, Am I that surprised by it? From certain people, yes. You know, I wanted Patrick to take more of a stand. Like I said, I get it because they're on the same team, blah, blah, blah. It would have been nice. It would have been nice. I appreciated, you know, Travis's statement more than Patrick's, but at the end of the day, they're both cowards. They're both cowards. Still gonna like the Chiefs because I like the team. I like most of what I see from Patrick. You know, the comments about the election and this definitely aren't it. I'm definitely going to be side eyeing him. But at the end of the day, I like the team. I still want them to win in a certain regard. I already bought my Patrick Mahomes jersey. I'm not gonna get rid of it. I might wear it a few more times in a video or two. 
But I just wanted to address it because, you know, I said I'm a Chiefs fan and all these things, and I just feel like it would be weird if I talk about them in the future without having this big elephant in the room. You know, I got my other teams that I root for. I got my Eagles and all these things. But what people say about the situation, it's definitely going to have me, you know, seeing it in a different point of view. And there's not a lot of real men out there. That is what I'm going to say. Being disappointed by a man, it seems almost inevitable at this point. But, you know, it's unfortunate. But yeah, Harrison Bucker, he can go to hell. And anybody agrees with him, they can go to hell too. But yeah, that's just my thoughts on this entire situation. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Any misogynistic or sexist comments will be deleted because I don't play about that. But you know, that's my that he doubled down on all these comments as well recently and was just saying that he appreciated all the support that he was getting from people. And like, that's just what happens. Like, I'm just tired of where society is going, especially politically. And a lot of people think that having all these problematic views are okay to say more now with the rise of Trump and, you know, the results of his election in 2016 and just the ripple effect that that has had now. And I'm just over it. I am just over it. Like, when are some real men actually going to, you know, denounce what he said? Like, too many people are sticking up for him and that's why he thinks it's okay to say what he said and just double standards with him. So he just really irritates me.